Hello everyone, this is Cheryl Johnson and today I'm going to walk you through the use of Google's voice typing tool. Let's begin with voice typing speaker notes in a Google Slides presentation. First, we will activate the voice typing tool by clicking on the tools in the menu bar and then selecting voice type speaker notes. Now the tool opens a pop-up window with this microphone icon in it. All I have to do is select my language and you see here how many languages are incorporated within this tool. So I will select English and then I'll click on the microphone icon and you see below here that I have started to record. Speaker notes help presenters recall important points such as key messages or stats as they give a presentation. The speaker note panel lives at the bottom of your screen, period. Note that I am able to add in punctuation, period. I click on the icon again to stop it from recording. Now let's take a look at the um, voice typing tool in a Google Doc. Once again, we will click on the tools menu and we will select voice typing on that drop down menu. I will also click on this uh, microphone icon after I have selected the language that I wish to voice type. So let's start in. A Tale of Two Cities. Select A Tale of Two Cities. Uppercase. Apply Heading 4. Deselect. New Line by Charles Dickens. New Line. It was the best of times, comma. It was the worst of times, comma. It was the age of wisdom, comma. It was the age of foolishness, comma. So now that we've seen how it can add punctuation and formatting in English, let's take a look at how it works in Spanish. So I will select Spanish as an example and let's go ahead and give this a try. Érase el mejor de los tiempos y el más detestable de los tiempos, punto y coma, la época de la sabiduría y la época de la bobería, coma. So as you see here, it can pick up what I am saying in Spanish, um, but it doesn't handle adding punctuation in most of the languages. Um, we do have one error right here where it capitalizes um, los for los tiempos los tiempos, um, but in general it's pretty darn good for um, voice typing in other languages. So this gives you a quick taste of what it's like to do voice typing. Thanks for listening.